Hi there, welcome to Dynamo Tutorial. In today's video, we are going to see how to create level in Revit using Dynamo. So I have opened a random or default Revit project. Let me go to uh, an elevation view. Okay, here we have an elevation view. See, you can see there are so many levels available there. Let me delete the all. I don't need these things. Okay, the, the creation of level we do at the time of uh, starting the project. Our intention is to draw level, right? So we will search for the same nodes over here in the Dynamo. So where you will find that you can search over here or even I am showing you where you can find it easily. Go to Revit. Now within that in element, element from there you will go down and select the level and there you have four options to create to create level. Okay, these are the four options using which you can using which you can draw level in your project. Now again, let me do the alignment, align section left. In order to create level using this node, we need elevation. Now you can give any random elevation. Of course, you will not give any random elevation. You have to give the give according to the project specification. You can import data from the Excel as well. You know how we can ex import the data from Excel. If you haven't watched it, you can follow my tutorial, okay? So let me suppose I am going to give a random elevation from uh, let me at first you have to check the unit of your project. OK, in the Revit, you can see it is in millimeter. So you have to give in millimeter, right? Or you can change it in uh, your project. Let me change it to meter. I have changed it to meter. OK, now let me give an elevation one meter. Now elevation. See, it has created a level over there with an ele with an elevation value of one meter okay so this is how it's look like you can even give a negative value over here suppose I'm, i have given a negative value see it has created over there so this is how it's work hope this node is very clear to you it required only elevation value you have given but it you can't control the name of the level using this node so in order to control the name let me freeze it first it will not draw again using this node so now the second nodes we have is by level and offset. It is asking for the two uh, input, right? One is level and one is offset. I, which level you want to offset? This level I want to offset. So you have to give that reference, right? Uh, the another one is offset. What offset value? What at what value you want to offset that level? So let me do that. Uh, so in order to select the level, you have two options. One is uh, you can call a node call select model element okay this is the first one another option we have we can search for the level okay there you have a node called level selection here you can select any level uh, present in your project it will show the entire level which is in your project okay here we have only one level that is why it is showing a single level there now you can select it using this this is how you can select using this node now suppose I'm, i have I'm giving this to there. Now I want to offset this level at what uh, offset, right? I want to offset this level at what elevation? So I want to offset it at elevation of two meter. Now connect this value to the, the offset. Now see it has created, but again, it is not controlling the name. You can't change or you can't control uh, the name, right? You can't put the name as per your choice. So this is, it will create the level, but you, you are not able to control the name, right? And we often use this node because uh, most of the cases we know the level value that is the elevation and the name of the level you want to put. Okay. I want to create a level or uh, 10 number of levels. So for that, you have to put 10. Now again, give two dots. Now you want to give a uh, two meter apart level. You will be a two meter apart. So this is how it has created the 10 level. It is how it will be created. The elevation value. These are the elevation values. Okay. Now if you want to see the output see there we have 26 letter or 26 name for the label and we have we have 26 elevation value now let me connect this and it has created that much level okay so now that last fourth and the last option we have that if you want to do an offset and you want to control the name as well so in that case what will you do you will use you are going to use this node called label by label offset and name so which level you want to offset i want to offset uh, level one 
okay give the reference of level one at what offset uh, what will be the elevation value i want to do the uh, give the elevation value this okay what will be the name i want to give the name this so this is how it has created see a b c d e f g h i up to z it has created so this is how you can uh, use the level node to create level in your revit project thank you for watching